Queen Elizabeth I was considered a grouchy old hag. But it's not her fault that she has a heavy flow and a wide set vagina. She was so salty she probably had hypernatremia. I find you very rude. <laughs> Start the shit show. Well, I'd like to thank you all for coming today to celebrate the life of my dear Aunt Bernice, a devoted wife and mother. Um, Bernice was a pillar of this community and she devoted so much of her time to this church. It's wonderful to see so many of you here today. Um, it's obvious now just how many people she touched. J -j 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 Jesse J. Stop, stop, I've arrived. My favorite pizza toppings, muscles, skin, organs, and fat. Let's exhume grandma. Today's video is sponsored by The Gravy Yard. Turn your dead uncle's hip replacement into a functional stylish gravy boat. You may know me as YouTube's premier peddler of death information, but I'm also a British train conductor in 1932. Welcome to the third and final installment in our Cannibalism of Victorian Hookers trilogy. I can't confer with my friend Dr. Judy Melnick because she used my book to correct a short leg on a wonky table. So I ate her liver with some fava beans and a nice can. We're here in New Orleans, New Orleans. Uh, I just flew over because I stuck my nose out of my home in California and I could smell something rotting in this general area. No matter how hard I try, you keep pushing me aside and I can't break through. New Orleans has a bunch of these above ground mausoleums, not just because of the flooding, but because I've stolen all their shots. Shovels. Trivia time, deathlings. I forgot where I buried grandma. Cremated bodies are ash. This is but one of my visceral macabre details. In this presentation, my bangs and I are talking about how death at its most extreme is as thrilling and quivering as finding an online discount code for acrylic hoop earrings. We're not just here to wander around all the magnificent cities of the dead. Uh, I heard there was a sale on at Old Navy. David and Bert, the survivors of this 1956 airplane crash, were different in how they approached cannibalism. They were thoughtful, rational, dare I say, sexy. What would an expert say is the worst way to die? Something that is sudden and unexpected. Like inhaling really fast in an Ikea and swallowing a blender. Or a Frugerlarken. There are underwater corpses in dark claustrophobic environments, an idea which informs most of my nightmares. That and being crushed by a giant pendant. Warmer water allows bacteria to grow inside bodies, making them bloat and then float, which is way more fun. You can't see today's pendant because it slipped beneath the murky waters, where I too would meet my end if it weren't for these life preservers on my earlobes. When people picture a dead body, it's usually a Kardashian, but her enormous bloated sphincter mouth is probably closed. And that's a body that's usually been worked on. Just like in life, her mouth is probably a gape with a really low-pitched fart coming out of it. As a mortician, it's my job to close the pie hole, which is naturally achieved with Gorilla Glue. Even though when people ask me how I close mouths, my answer first and foremost is, Caitlin, stop dropping jaws. Introducing my debut perfume, charred livers or something. Lake Superior is a lot like me on a first date. Once she gets you, she's not giving you back. She also never gives up her dead, which suits me just fine. I've sailed Lake Superior a number of times, but on February 1st, 1974, I had to be abandoned after my pumps took on way too much water. I'm often asked if I'm tempted to draw on the decedent's face with a sharpie, and the answer is no. A lot of UK sellers won't even ship body parts to the US because the laws are so vague. I've had some British woman's thigh on my Amazon wish list for four months. I don't, what have I got to do to get the thigh? Someone just send me the thigh. Here's me in the tub. 
and I'm about to come at you with my brand new book which took me six years to write but it's essentially four pages about how my dog will consider eating my corpse but in the end will just sample my taint and then spit it out as if it had a fancy wine tasting in Ojai. Bury me in one of these to be nibbled at by crawfish. My uncle Tim actually does a really good impersonation of me. Uh, he was on Project Runway. I personally don't think he sounds anything like me. I, I don't get it. Trivia time, deathlings. Grandma was in the freezer. Bodies would lay in oven crypts for up to one year uh, before they were asked for rent. Uh, and they would rarely ever reply, so it's kind of rude, but they would just get thrown out like shit on the side of the street. My funeral home is being investigated because I presented a body where I switched the arms and the buttocks because I don't know my ass from my elbow. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bert Beckerak. I watched Austin Powers the other day and I have not stopped saying that for like a week now. <laughs> oh, welcome to the stage, everyone's favorite mortician. Caitlin Doty, Ask a Mortician, that was her, that was her. Thank you for watching my Ask a Mortician parody. My name is Olympia, and as always, I am your elegant hostess trolley. Um, if you've never been here before, this is the first time you're visiting the Olympia lifestyle cult, then welcome. This is the kind of shit that we do. Done a number of these parodies now, quite a few. They are to me, they're love letters. They are in the spirit of appreciation for these people, because I adore these people. We've taken a few of them off because you wish you didn't bother putting the effort in, but for the most part, um, I love these people. I adore Caitlin, um, Ask a Mortician. If you've never seen her channel, then go and watch it because her content, her approach to death is very refreshing. Her content's very refreshing and she's just informative and charming and lovely. So if you have, if, if you are viewing this right now, Caitlin, then I adore you. Um, we've all had a horrendous year. I imagine for you it would have been particularly hideous. So hopefully this may have given you a light smile. Try this t-shirt, have a look. Clue. Do you remember Clue? But look what happened to the cook! Yeah. If you're sort of considering leaving a comment down below saying, you're so mean, that's so mean-spirited. Everyone I've done these parodies for, they've liked them, they've understood it. It's its in the spirit of appreciation. This is not me shitting on people. This is me kind of like raising them up in a certain way, um, in my own little cute way. Because, you know, it's, it's cute, it's sweet, it's very, they're very good. <laughs> I said no one. Claire Saffitz was the last uh, parody that I did. Um, if you want to go back and watch that one, she did reach out over Instagram. She sent a very sweet message saying how much she liked it. So hopefully Caitlin will like this one as well. There's going to be a very short clip on Instagram and Twitter as per usual. If you'd like to share it, we can tweet Caitlin and increase our chances that she might see it and or react to it. Who knows? Um, but thank you for coming. Stick around. I have a very, very special British lady on the list for me to do next. Um, but please leave me a comment down below, who would you like to see? And if you want to um, join the Patron, there will be a message afterwards about how to do that and become an official cult member slash asshole, nay dickhead. Ah, <laughs> uh, cheers then. I find you very rude. <laughs> The Novimbia Chanel is made possible by our gorgeous patrons who get early access, exclusive content, and buyer's remorse. And a hello, deathlings, to our brand new patrons, Hansel Palaka Raver, Carolyn Hardy as for Erin S, Tim, Robin, Dale Shepherd, Alexandra, Inga Rock, Louis Perales, and Michael Stevens. Join the Patron, we'll do a shot of Patron.